guys and gals, what's crack a lack and spicy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is the new boat renovation uh, project. Uh, this is going to be a series of videos, and uh, this video is going to just going to be talking about the boat, um, what happened with my last boat, and what I have planned for this boat. Um, as many of you know, here a while back when I was doing videos, um, I had a aluminum boat. I think it was a 12 foot uh, V bottom boat that I was going to redo. Made a video on it. Um, had a few people uh, donate to the channel to help with the renovation of it. Uh, well, it wasn't really a renovation of that boat. I was wanting to redo it uh, to have a better fishing experience. But with that boat, I done a front deck in the front of the boat and it did not work out. Uh, it was super unstable uh, you could even you couldn't even be on that little deck uh, I wanted to put a little seat on there not not stand up but have a little seat up there where I can put a trolling motor and stuff like that but with the V bottom and it wasn't the whole thing wasn't a V bottom like a like a canoe it was just the, the front end of it. it was like a half V bottom or whatever but it just was not stable enough and with me if I had somebody else in the boat no, you can't you can't stand up with somebody else in the boat because as soon as they move, you're gone. You're out. You're over the you're over the uh, side of the boat. So in that video, you know, I asked if you wanted to help donate to the channel to help with the with the redo of the boat. I was going to do a, a giveaway. I had a uh, Black Max Abu uh, Abu Garcia Black Max spinning reel and rod that I gave away. I still I still done that. Mr. Ronnie in South Georgia is the one who got that uh, Abu Garcia Black Max uh, casting rod and reel. I went ahead and sent it to him. I got in contact with everybody that uh, helped donate um, and offered. Because I wasn't doing that boat project, I was going to uh, give their money back to them. Everybody said, no, uh, put this into your new project. We want to see what, what's going on with it. So with that being said, let me introduce you to the new boat project holy macaroni i'm super excited about this and here it is oh man this boat right here ladies and gentlemen is a classic this is a 1975 skeeter sweet thing they don't make them no more they only made them for two years i think 74 and 75 skeeter made this boat uh, this is kind of like a, it's a deck boat, uh, kind of like back then, before pontoon boats was invented, this was kind of like the pontoon boat. This was the, the family, everybody gets on the boat, go out and have a good time. Had a canopy and everything. I got this boat from an elderly lady a couple of towns over. I met her at the VFW that I was a part of. Her husband had this boat, and he was stripping it down and is going to redo it and everything well bless her heart he passed away uh, last year and she said hey i have this boat uh would you would you like it and this was right after i done my boat and it was like oh this ain't going to work i was like yes please i would love to redo this boat and and make it just what it's supposed to be so i got the boat she gave me the boat i'm very generous about that well, then I was like, I need a motor. She's like, why do I have a motor? I'm like, you got a motor? Check out the motor, guys and gals. Boom. This right here, Mercury, is also a classic. This is a 1985 Mercury 35 horse motor. Now, when I opened up the hood, I'm like, oh, okay. So I got a motor, 1985. That's, that's okay. I was like, all right, let me see what I need to do to it. Opened up the hood, took the hood off of it. This thing has not been ran at all all if it's been run maybe maybe a month of running that's it there's no wear and tear on this motor whatsoever so basically i have like a brand new motor well brand new old motor you know what i mean this thing is great 35 horse ain't the biggest power motor i could have got but it's going to do just what i need. i'm not looking to go out in the you know gulf of mexico doing some offshore fishing this is just going to be my lake's around here. I'm wanting to go out and do some fishing with some other people. This will be perfect. 
and let me tell you I got plenty of room in this boat 16 foot is this boat and of course I've got some stuff to do to it um, I've got to redo the floor got some rotten spots in there uh, everything is stripped off the boat uh, like this piece here and this front piece here all this was off the boat there was another one supposed to be right back here it's in the front yard with the other stuff and also there's a console uh, a driving console that goes in the middle of the boat um, there was a compartment in the back it's gone I don't have it so I'm gonna have to make a compartment uh, as far as the steering goes I do have the steering wheel the helm the steering cable but this is not gonna work for me because of how I've got to do this motor is not for the boat obviously it's supposed to be a bigger motor because of the motor that I have and the cables that are attached to the motor I could go and get new cables but I'm not going to do that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make everything around what I have on the motor because it works perfect everything forward reverse uh, throttle everything works on it so I'm not going to I'm not going to fool with it if it's not broke don't fix it but I'm a, I got the steering wheel I'm going to keep the steering wheel I went ahead and bought a new steering helm steering cable uh, shorter than this one because the steering console set here at the front of the boat as you can see There's a hole in the middle of the boat with a with a tube that ran all the way down to the back of the motor uh, There's a hole that comes out. So everything ran through the tube up right here in, in the center console Set right here, but because my stuff on the motor is not long enough to reach up there I'm gonna have to put it about middle ways it's gonna be fine that means I got all the front to do what I want to do with it we started fiddling around with it when I first got it because like the piece here uh, this is a compartment and there was another one on this side of the boat uh, everything was off of it I wanted to see if it how easy it was gonna go back on the boat uh, so I went to uh, I went to tractor supply and got some rivets and I riveted the front of it down went ahead and done that so that parts done but I'm not going to do anything else until we get rolling on the camera. This is going to be, like I said, a multi-video series. I don't know what I'm going to start with first. I need to figure that out. I wish I wouldn't have put this front on here because I'm wanting to paint all of this. I'm wanting to paint all of this surface area here. Not the floor, but all this area here. I'm wanting to paint the bottom, the bottom of the boat nothing needs to be done to it this thing is perfect nothing is wrong with it they painted it uh but it does the only thing i'll do to the bottom is put a, a clear coat on it that way it'll be smooth going through the water right now they just painted it and that's it this will put a lot of drag on it going through the water and i'm just gonna put a clear coat on it to uh make it glide through the water so other than that I don't know what I'm going to start with first. And then the next thing I'm going to do is the floor. That's going to be the first major thing. So after um, getting everything like the, st the steering helm, I had to fix the uh, impeller in the motor. You know, whenever you turn your motor on and it squirts out water in the back, there's a little impeller that sucks up water and, go and it all goes through your motor. That little impeller was dry rotted because of course it's old and it's been setting up so I had to order a new one of those special order from back home where i'm from and i got the motor running great so after all that um that i got for the boat and i just bought me a brand new reel i've got to save up a little bit more for uh the wood for the floor <clears throat> for the floor i'm going to do a uh, just a hard plywood and then I'm going to uh, seal it with uh, weather seal and then that's going to be the floor and then we'll we'll go from there there's some other things like around the edge like see that see that little compartment there well there's no uh, there's no support on there so you can't really stand or sit on that because it gives real easy so I'll be putting some supports in that so that way if you want to stand on it or sit on it it's not going to give and then there in the back of the boat, I will be building a compartment to house all the, the battery, the gas cans, and stuff like that. And then after all that said and done, after I get done with everything, the next thing that I'll be saving up for will be a trolling motor. 
I want to get a real uh, one of the real good trailer motors. I looked at Walmart. They had one at Walmart that I wanted. It was I think it was like a 60 pound thrust, $400. So that's going to take me a couple months to save up for. But what I plan on doing is right here in the front because I had this little front area right here. I'll end up taking and cutting the front right here uh, wide enough for a trailer motor to sit, and then. Uh, I'll just take fiberglass and seal all that in to where it's all sealed in, but the trailer motor can go down. The trailer motor I got now, a little 40 pound that I had on my boat before, it, I don't even think it'll touch this boat. So I'm not going to stress that out too much. So guys and gals, this is the new project. I already have a name for the boat. It's going to be uh, Miss Betty. That's going to be the name on the side of the boat because she is the one who graciously uh, gave me the boat. Oh, the motor. Uh, she did not give me the motor. Uh, she said she had a motor, and I was like, okay, how much do you want for it? She said, well, just I'll name a price. So I come home, and I looked up these, kind of, these motors here, seeing what they're kind of going for, the older motors, the newer motors. I gave her a price. And she was like, whoa, no, no, no. And I'm telling you, I was very gracious. I, I gave her an amount that she, you know, it was worth it. And she's like, no, 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 no. Just give me $100. I'm like, okay. So I put all that money back in my pocket, and I gave her $100 for the motor. So all this, the motor, the boat, the trailer, everything cost me $100. And I couldn't be happier. So this is going to be the project over the next several months i'll put them all all the videos together on a playlist after i get all of them done but you can follow along as i post them uh, like i said the name of the boat is uh, miss betty that'll be on the side and then we got rails and we got everything to go on this boat the only thing i don't have is the canopy that goes on it i don't know if i even want to deal with the canopy so guys and gals that's the that's the deal that's the project there i think it's going to be great Hopefully y'all will follow along, maybe give me some pointers, some suggestions of what I can and cannot do, and then we'll go from there. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to show y'all. This is a new boat project. I can't wait to get this thing finished. I only got a little bit of time before I can get this thing in the water and get to fishing. The weather's getting just right, so yeah. All right. Well, guys and gals, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, remember, everybody has a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.